Hello friends, today I am here with you to learn how to make an online test item. Nowadays, it is a new trend that we develop online tests, conduct online classes and so on. So as a part of this teaching and learning process, online tests are becoming more and more popular. I have received several requests from certain friends to develop a tutorial how to develop an online test item very easily. We have good number of such programs where we can make online tests. Here we will be discussing only one and will be very easy, easily accessible to everyone and also very easy to make. Now let's discuss step wise. You can follow my steps, I'll be slow and you can learn it very easily. Do on the YouTube and on the internet, you can find several tutorials and all are good equally. Here I am going to discuss on my own very easy steps to make online quiz. Already a good number of online quizzes which I have developed are being used by students. I will show them also and also here make a new tutorial, a new uh, online test before you so that you learn and you can make on your own. It is better that you make on your own and also give it to your students. Let them learn. The more they use, the more they will learn because questions will differ from person to person. So the students will be having good number of questions made by different teachers and they can use it and learn more and become more perfectionist. So now let's start the tutorial. Here you can see on the screen, I have opened Google and on the right hand side, you can see here the nine dots, these are the Google apps. I click on this and then I have all the apps here. I go to Google Drive. All of you, those who are having Google account, having a Gmail account, will be having a drive. So now click on drive as I am doing here right now, my drive opens. Now here you will be able to see all what I have in my drive. You can see here I have so many folders in my drive. I have so many folders in my drive. You can see here. Now here is one drive where I have kept my online test items which are now being used by the students. I will now discuss how to prepare these. You can see here there are so many online quizzes I have already prepared. You can see here. Now let us discuss how we can make a quiz. For this what to do? Go to the left hand corner here. Here it is plus new. Click on new. A drop list comes, go to more, again a drop list continues, you can see here, Google Forms. So click on Google Forms. I click here, a new form opens. This is untitled form. Let us give a title to this. I am writing a test run using Google form for online test. Let this be. Now here second line form description. If you want to give some instruction to the students then you can give here. Dear students, okay, then you write whatever you want because for editing a test, some information must be given, some instruction must be given. These are known as general instructions. So, you give some general instruction to the students here. Then you start with untitled form questions. Now, before doing this, you have certain things to do that is, 
this is actually now a form this is not a question form this is just a form to make this into a question pattern go here to the settings click settings here you find general presentation and quizzes do you think you need to collect the email addresses of the participants i don't think so if you think it will require then you click here and then it will be mandatory for all of them to write their email addresses i don't need students to write the email addresses so i go to only quizzes click quizzes and make this a quiz so after clicking here i click this button make the quiz everything comes automatically nothing more to do i think it's clear now so in the general part i don't need to click on any of the buttons because i am not interested in collecting their addresses email addresses okay so i go to quiz and make the quiz and finally save it done so my form is now converted into a test now i have to write some questions suppose i write a question you can write question of your own so you have to choose your question i am writing one question which of the following is oviparous say a question like this this is a biology question so as per your subject you will create your questions now you have to give the options option number 1 say i write bat press enter so the second option comes i write penguin again enter third option dolphin and the fourth option is say whale so now my first question is over here you find what is the type of question there are several types of questions which you can make here are the different types short answer paragraph multiple choice check box drop down list and many others most of these will be used in developing the form here so far we are doing with the quiz type test i think it is better that you use only multiple choice type of question so let us choose this multiple choice type of question for all the questions done now the next part that is i have to give the answer to this so here i press answer key which one is the right answer the right answer is penguin so i click on penguin i have to give marks for this so i go here points i put two marks for the right answer and then it is done finished and here ultimately the last part which i have to do is this is required so like this you must complete the questions after doing this i click again this is for the next question so now like this you can continue making question as many as you want so the question part remains over to decorate this you need some decoration then go here customization let us now decorate this form go to customization click here and then you get these let us put a header so for this i can choose an image from here choose image here the window opens and from here let us choose something i was i had made a question on biology so now let me choose one it can i can choose this one i can choose this one so let me now choose this one and insert done so automatically it comes and so my form now has become beautiful now if you want 
that the students should write their names also. There is still option. What are you going to do? Suppose you want that the students should write at the beginning. At the beginning. So here you can ask them or you can enter one more question. That is, I will pull this up. I will pull this over this one. Okay. Now this is, here I will write, write your name. Write your name. So by default, this becomes a short, short answer type. By default, this will come. If it doesn't come, then you have to choose from here. But Google recognizes what type of answer you require. So automatically, you see here, the option becomes short answer type. Is it required or optional? If required, click here. Now, how will they write their name? You can give some description also. For each question, you can give a description or instruction. For this, you click these three buttons. Three dots here. Click here and there is a description. Description. Write your name. How do you write your name? People will write in different types. So you write in block letters. So they will see the question is to be written in block letters like this. So now you have your name, student will write their name and in block letters. If you want more information from the students, then you add here, click here and then after this another slot will come and you can write your queries. Like this, you keep on adding questions and finally you have to save this. Now your folder, your file name is still untitled form. It should be here, test run using Google form. So what to do? Just click here, it will automatically take the name. I have clicked here, it has taken the name. And this will be saved automatically in the Google Drive. Whatever changes you are making here will automatically be changed. So I have made only one question. Though here are two entries, but for this you write your name, no mark is given. Mark is given for the questions. So I have already made one question. So total point is two. Likewise, I make 20 questions, marks will become 40. So like this, you keep on adding question and continue doing this. And finally, this will be saved in your Google Drive. So now, still I will just press Ctrl S and save it. Now, let's go back and I will show you one such we have already prepared and students have started answering this. How it looks? Now this is, I am opening one such test. This is class 12 biology reproduction in organisms. So this is the test question which I had prepared. And you see here responses 1348. This was the question paper. And now let us click on to responses. So till now 1348 responses I have got. And this is the analysis, question wise analysis, which you also will get after the students start answering. This is how the questions are analyzed. If you want to collect the details of answers, what you can do? Here you can see this cross mark here. This is a spreadsheet. Click here and you can get the total response in a single sheet in a spreadsheet like you use in Excel. So you can get the consolidated answers on the spreadsheet. If you want, you can analyze there also. There you can analyze school wise, region wise or anything, whatever parameter you want. So like this, you get the responses. Go back to the questions. Now, if you want to send this, 
only preparing the question paper is not sufficient simultaneously i need to share this with others how do i share see here i open the question paper this is the quiz test i open this click here send as i click here send what i get i can send via so many but what you do you can send via email also but it is difficult to send via email because you need the email ids of all the participants which is not possible so it is better that you get a link you can see this link sign click on this link and you get the link url very long link url better that you make it shorter so click on shortened url you see you have got a short url now copy it control c control c copied it and now i can paste this anywhere i like i can send it via email i can send it via whatsapp whatever i like say for example i am opening my email account let's see i am opening my email account it is taking a bit time but okay so now i go to compose i'm getting this responses from various people what i find on my inbox so there are so many already programs running together so as i internet is a bit slow now okay here my message box opens if i know the recipients and then send this i just control v and my link is here suppose i send this to someone myself only i send it to myself trial link and send the form i'm sending it so it has gone to my address similarly from my address i can send it via whatsapp to anyone or even i can send it via email to anyone so like this you can develop your own online tests so start doing it what i would like to say is go through this video once if required two times and i'm sure within a day you will prepare your own question paper and please share with others and share with me also let us all cooperate together and learn and also let our students learn with this with the hope that we will be doing good for the students thank you very much for being with me in this tutorial and very soon i'll come up with another tutorial that is how to make online video lessons which is also nowadays very much required people are asking me to make some easy tutorial because there are so many tricky things to be done so how i can make a simple and effective video lesson i'll be coming up very shortly for that with that thank you very much for being with me stay sit stay with me in my next videos and stay tuned be happy be healthy thank you very much